Let me guess. That's your final answer? Three mages have fled to Ferelden, and you have intervened to protect them, as if it is your right to do so. What other answer did you expect, your majesty? A maybe might have been nice. I do not deal in maybes. I deal in cold, hard facts, as should you. Perhaps when Ferelden next chooses a king, it will be one that takes his duty to the Maker seriously. Well, that was awkward. How do you do, Your Majesty? I've been better. Manlier too, come to think of it. This is the champion of Kirkwall. Right, I'm Alistair. Oh, uh, King of Ferelden. And this is Tegan, my uncle. Sort of. I'm actually Tegan. I'm only sort of his uncle. Say, weren't you a Grey Warden once? That's the rumor. Wait, weren't you? That's the rumor. Huh, I guess we get around. I was hoping we could talk. Would have been better timing before being emasculated by Meredith, but I'm not picky. I'm surprised you would even know who I am. I know you came here from Lothering, a Ferelden refugee that did well for herself, against all odds. I have to admit, I was hoping your influence in Kirkwall might be of use. Things haven't been going well with Orlais. Without a Viscount here, however, there's only the Knight Commander to deal with. You were having an argument about mages. Yes, well, apparently I don't feel the same way about mages as the Chantry does. So, we're in disagreement. That means they get nasty. They're like that. Sounds like the Circle is better off in Ferelden. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Sadly, I don't control the Circle. I can only deal with mages outside the Circle, of which there aren't many. Aren't they in your kingdom? Why not just kick the Templars out? Ha! Huh. Easier said than done. Doesn't mean you shouldn't try. We'll see what comes of it. Ferelden had a blight to contend with, remember? We're not exactly at our strongest. A lot of your people fled to Kirkwall, you know. I know. I wish I could have helped them. Their blight devastated the kingdom, and afterwards, well, it hasn't exactly been peaceful. They're welcome back, of course, as are you. But after so many years away, would you still consider it home? Kirkwall is my home now. I understand. Ferelden's loss. Is there to be a war, then? I hope not. You're more optimistic than I am. Empress Selene is doing her best. Orlais isn't the most stable place right now. What's happening in Orlais? Oh, the usual. Attempted assassinations, uprising, fancy parties with stinky cheeses. Apparently, some Orlesians think it would be grand to get their lost province back. Well, we won't let them swoop down on us, will we? That's right. Swooping is bad. You know, with your help, there could be a Viscount. It's not a terrible idea, really. A lot of people would benefit from Hawk running this town. That's asking a lot. It's tempting. But I'm sorry to say that my support won't mean much without the support of the Templars. I suppose it doesn't matter. I was hoping to have your help before Meredith got wind of my arrival, but that's done now. What you can do is protect Kirkwall. It will take someone like you to keep it from falling apart. Protect Kirkwall from what, exactly? You ask me, the biggest threat to this city just walked out the door. But maybe that's the ex-Templar in me talking. Well, I suppose I should get back to the old ball and chain. You know the Queen hates it when you call her that. No, she doesn't. Just because she killed an archdemon, she doesn't scare me. You keep telling yourself that, Your Majesty.